Hi everybody, it is Jill for Sleepopolis.com and I am here to talk about the Sleep Master Sleep Mask. You'll notice it just comes in a plain plastic bag. The makers of the mask say that's because they wanted to focus on spending their money on making the mask rather than on packaging the mask. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Uh, here's my cat Jack. He uh, might be helping us a little bit today. Okay, so the first thing to notice about the Sleep Master Sleep Mask is that it's really bulky. You can see here, this is about uh, about two inches when it's folded like this. Uh, there are also some earplugs in here which kind of get lost. So one of the things about the Sleep Master though, speaking of the earplugs, is that the Sleep Master promises that it is a sound muting sleep mask. So I'm a little confused about why there are earplugs in there. Let's go ahead and unfold it. There we go. So the mask is made of satin, uh, some sort of synthetic, but it's nice and soft. And the big thing that you'll notice about the mask right away is that it doesn't have like a traditional kind of elastic strap. Instead, the mask goes the entire way around. It doesn't taper at all. Um, and there is a Velcro closure. Now, I've talked before about how Velcro is not my favorite thing on sleep masks because it gets stuck in my hair or it might get stuck on whatever is behind me or it could get stuck on um, my cat hair. So uh, this time I'm a little bit less concerned about it because as you can see, this is the, the rough end of the Velcro. There's about an inch of fabric on either side. So that'll, that should protect it, keep it from getting caught on something. But let's go ahead and put it on and see. Okay. Um, oh, this is not easy. Okay. Uh, I keep getting my hair stuck in it as I'm trying to close the Velcro. So that's not a good sign. Well, okay, I thought I had it, but it's a little loose. Okay, that feels tight enough, except it doesn't feel quite even. I know that the back part of the Velcro is kind of peeking out behind. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, and it's still slipping, so that means I still really need to tighten it more. Um, I saw a tip online that said that the best way that the user had found um, was in an Amazon review was to actually put it around like your forehead and to pull it down, so let's try that. It's kind of a cute headband, it has like a 1920s turban going on. Okay, that definitely feels tighter. Let's see when I pull it down. <sighs> okay, it's still a little loose, but that's all right. Um, I have my eyes closed. If I try to open my eyes, it just doesn't work. So this is not one of the sleep masks that gives you any clearance between your eyelid and the mask itself. It's up to you whether that's a thing that you like or not. Um, I have very long eyelashes, so I kind of prefer to have the mask away from my eyes. I also, I've talked about before, tend to use sleep masks a lot during the day when I already have makeup on, so having something away from my eyes kind of preserves uh, my makeup. It means I don't have to do a bunch of touch-ups after I use a nap. Um, but so, it's sliding some more. So, the Sleep Master, one of the, the things, it promises that it's sound muting, and one of the reasons that they can do that is because the strap goes completely over your ear, unlike a lot of other sleep masks that kind of go above your ear or really low down on your head. And I have to say, I'm talking. I don't sound any different to myself when I have the, my ears covered versus when I have them like this. It's a little bit kind of like listening to something on a bad speaker, but it's still, the volume is still totally there. So I'm not getting any sound muting effects. Um, I could put the earplugs in, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of having a mask that promises that it already mutes the sound out. So we're going to lie down, I'm going to lie down, and we'll see how this feels for actually sleeping. As you can see, I'm now lying down on my side wearing the Sleep Master Sleep Mask. I also need to remind myself not to wear turtlenecks when I'm shooting videos like this because it's not comfortable. Um, what is surprisingly comfortable, though, is the Sleep Master. Um, it is, because it covers the ear completely, it's not moving a lot. Um, when I shift, it does slide a little bit. I think that's because of the satin. And when I first decided to lie down, I did slip a little bit. This is not a satin pillowcase, but it's still a very, very soft weave. So I slipped a little bit, the satin against that. But once I, I got into a comfortable position, I was actually very comfortable in this mask, which is not easy for me as somebody who can only sleep on her side. Um, when I wore this overnight, I did actually manage to sleep through the night in it pretty comfortably. I will say though that even lying down, the sound muting qualities of this mask just don't do much. My husband is a snorer, 
And I was really hoping that this mask would give me a way of blocking that out without using something like earplugs that can possibly block out too much sound. I don't need complete silence and I don't want complete silence necessarily when I sleep. Um, so, you know, here with the side of my head that's down on the pillow, sound is a little bit muted, but that happens when you sleep on your side anyway. I'm not seeing a lot of benefit. But, you know, the mask overall is very comfortable to wear. I'm a little worried. It's it's uh, satin, and when I slept in this overnight, I did have, uh, I felt warm. It's a synthetic. It's not very breathable. The padding inside is cotton, not like a memory foam, so there's not a lot of air circulating through it. Um, you know, I'm going to take this off, and we'll keep talking about the pros and cons of this mask in just a sec. I'm going to keep the mask on my forehead, because it really is kind of cute. Um, you just saw me lying down in the mask talking about uh, what it feels like, and it is very comfortable, but I just wanted to sit back up and tell you a little bit more about my experience sleeping with it. As I mentioned, my husband is a snorer, and despite the mask promising that it uh, mutes sound, did not help at all with me sleeping next to somebody snoring. Um, and the mask is really comfortable. It's super comfortable against your face. It doesn't slide. It doesn't push into the pillow, which is awesome for somebody who's a side sleeper. But I also run really warm when I sleep. Um, to the extent that when I was a little kid, my mom was always worried that I had a fever when she would check in on me in the middle of the night. So I need to not do things that will warm me up while I'm sleeping. That's the same reason I don't wear, I don't sleep in flannel sheets when I'm sleeping. So when I woke up with this mask, it's actually amazing that I didn't wake up in the middle of the night wearing this mask because of this. I was very warm. Under, like around my eyes and the sides of my face was, was sweaty. My hair was plastered to the back of my head. It really did create and trap a lot of heat wearing this mask. So if you're somebody who runs warm when you sleep, or if you're somebody who lives in a hot climate and doesn't have, doesn't want to run the air conditioner all night, I'm not sure that this mask is really for you, but you know, your experience might be a little different from mine. So I uh, will go ahead and go over the pros and cons. Um, pros, again, it's very soft. It's very comfortable. Having something that goes completely over your ear means it's not going to slide when you lie down on your side. Um, and because it's nice and soft and wraps the whole way around, it's an even surface when you put your head down on your pillow. So it doesn't push the pillow in weird ways. Another pro Yes, it's a Velcro strap. I don't like Velcro straps, but if you're going to use a Velcro strap, having this extra space here is a really nice way of making sure the Velcro theoretically doesn't get stuck on a lot of stuff. Now, I did have trouble when I was first adjusting it with uh, bringing the strap over and it was catching my hair, but once I put it on like a headband and pulled it down, still needed a little bit of adjusting, but it was, it was a lot more comfortable and the Velcro wasn't a problem. Um, cons? As I was saying, this mask promises that it mutes the sound around you when you're sleeping. That to me means the mask itself does it, not that I need to put earplugs in before I put the mask on. And it just didn't do what it promised. Uh, when I first put the mask on, I even put music on and then put the mask on and the music was the same volume either way. So, and you know, I was like moving the flaps up and down, totally sounded the same uh, volume wise, <clears throat> it did excuse me, make a little bit of a <clears throat> filter sound, uh, but that I don't think that necessarily means that it affect, it mutes the sound. Muting tends to refer to the volume. Also, this beautiful synthetic fabric, for in my experience, was not breathable. I was very, very warm when I woke up. I was sweating. I had to wash my hair again. Um, so it just it didn't make for a good night's sleep. Now, I will say the mask also <clears throat> comes with instructions to put it in the freezer during the day and then sleep with it cold overnight. I didn't do that because I know a lot of the masks that I've seen have said do not sleep with something cold against your eyes all night because it can cause blurred vision in the morning. So I didn't do that, but I did decide to take a little bit of a relaxation break between appointments a couple of days ago. And when I pulled the mask, <coughs> excuse me, when I pulled the mask out of the freezer, it felt nice, it felt nice against my face. It was room temperature again within about five minutes. Um, that being said, kind of recline, in a reclining position, not completely lying down, but, but, you know, with the back of my head back a little bit, wearing this mask for just a few minutes, having been in the freezer, was pretty comfortable. It was a nice way to reset. Now, I will say, if you are somebody like me who likes to be able to open your eyes in your mask, because you don't want something pressing down, or if you're somebody like me who might nap with your makeup on, 
I don't know if you can see, but I'm, I'm pretty smudged under my eyes from just the couple of minutes I was wearing this mask while we were shooting earlier. So, you know, that's, that's maybe another con too. All in all, I think in terms of final thoughts, super comfortable mask doesn't necessarily deliver on its promise, but if you are a side sleeper and you don't really run warm when you sleep or you're not sleeping in a warm place, this could actually be a pretty viable mask option for you. So that's it. My entire review is on sleepopolis.com and I will see you guys next time.